If you have an ugly lamp and you don't know what to do with it, well, I have a great DIY that'll help freshen it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lampshade out because we're gonna redo it. So let's take this lamp, put it away, and we're gonna get, you can either use wallpaper, you could use wrapping paper. I really like to use wallpaper because it comes in really nice colors and also really nice patterns. So what we're gonna do, we got a piece here, and we're actually gonna recover our lampshade because a lot of times that's the ugly part of the lamp. The frame of it looks really good, but you know what? When it comes to the actual lampshade, that's usually where people go kind of crazy on patterns. So obviously this would look a lot prettier. I think so, guys, right? So what we're gonna do, we know that it's long enough this way. We're gonna measure it. So we're gonna grab our ruler right here, and we're gonna measure. So this is basically around eight inches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our wallpaper here and we're gonna measure it out to eight inches using our pencil. We're gonna go like this. And we're gonna mark it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark it every, I don't know, let's say like every six inches or so. You wanna keep marking it at the eight inch mark. And obviously it's gonna be different if your lamp is a little longer or a little smaller. So I marked it along. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one long mark. I'm just gonna take my scissors here, put them on the top, make one long mark right here, because I wanna make sure that I have a straight line. I'm gonna go like that. Make a, oh, my pencil's not, it's not marking, guys. Let's go like that. I think I can still see this. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, sweet. So then I'll go like that, and then mark it again here. You wanna make sure your lines roll. Showing, you press a little harder, and there you go. And then you go and you cut it. And as you're cutting, you wanna make sure you're cutting a straight line. It's always best, the longer the scissor, the better. So I'm just gonna cut this. Cut, cut, cut. There we go. And then that, we're gonna put away this. That's just junk. And then we're gonna end up with something like this. That's what we're actually gonna use to recover our lamp. So we're gonna wrap this around the lamp. And do you see guys how all of a sudden it looks so much better? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna glue it on one end and I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun here. You wanna make sure when you're using a hot glue gun you don't burn your fingers because that's a rookie mistake. Everybody does it at one point or another. So if you do it on the first time, don't worry about it. I was gonna say fingers grow back, but they really don't. <laughs> so you do that. As you can see, a nice bead. You glue it, you wanna make sure it's straight. That's really where you're gonna see, because if it's not straight here, guys, when you wrap it around, it's gonna look really, really terrible. And then everybody's gonna be like, you DIY'd your own lamp. And that's not really what you're trying to get. When you're DIYing your stuff, you wanna make it look like you bought it in a store, right? So you just add a little bit more glue here to finish it off, just like that. And look, guys, looks so much better. And I'm gonna grab my lamp here. I'm gonna add it in here, and there you go. That's what it looks like. Doesn't that look beautiful? Well, we're gonna check in with Mandy and see what she's up to. Thanks for watching The Mark and Mandy Show. Like our video by clicking below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.